Hey guys, the NTB Gamer here, and I am back, and I'm bringing you guys another Call of Duty commentary. And today we're playing some Modern Warfare 2 because someone asked me if I could do a Modern Warfare 2 commentary. Because I gotta admit, I do a lot of Black Ops ones, and I decided to just make a change. And to be honest, I've never been so stressed in my life. I've tried so hard to get a decent gameplay in it. The, the this one, um, I decided just to keep this one because I got 13 to nothing with um, a sniper but I do use my secondary weapon because of um, short range so I decided to do a commentary on Modern Warfare 2 just for a change because uh, I don't really go on Modern Warfare 2 and yesterday I was trying to get the um, clips well not clips I mean like good gameplays and it just, I got to a point where I was playing a game on I think it was Favala I'm not sure and I had 12 to nothing and I was doing brilliant, I mean, uh, I was doing loads of turn-ons and everything, uh, like turn on someone when they're behind you, all that, and I was doing loads of good kills, and then their team, their team started, like, to whip out the fucking UMPs and everything, and proper sweat it out, so I got pissed off, I fucking slammed my controller down and turned my Xbox off straight away, because, you, you know, because I'm, I rage quite a lot on games, well, on COD games, because COD games are the most stressful games I've ever fucking played. But, um, anyway, I left you guys on Friday, and I am back now, because the weekend, what I've been doing is just chilling, and I went watch Harry Potter on Saturday, and I watched it, and I really enjoyed it. I went with a few of my friends. I, um, I specifically went because one of, it was one of my friend's birthday, and he's a really big Harry Potter fan. Um... And I went with him, he's 19, um, well, he was 19 yesterday, he went clubbing after Harry Potter got absolutely wasted, and we went watching it, and I quite enjoyed it, because I haven't seen it, I haven't really read any of the boots, uh, books, so I don't really get any spoilers or anything, because if you read the books, it tells you what's basically going to happen, so I really didn't see the point of watching the movie. But if you haven't seen like, part one of Harry Potter, then I advise you go watch part one so you understand the part two, because part two is full of action and it reveals basically the Harry Potter story. But it's better if you watch the rest, then instead of going straight to part two because you you've heard there's loads of action in it. In it. But um, it's a it's a great film. I advise anyone who hasn't seen it who wants to see. It, I advise you to watch it. It's, there's no let downs at all. It's well, there's a few let downs because of. A couple of good people die, you actually quite funny. I'm not going to give any spoilers away just in case you haven't read the books, but it's a great film, uh, full of action, and you wouldn't expect Harry Potter film be full of action, but it is. It's, it's a great film, went yesterday. Um, another thing I'd like to talk about is if you live in the UK, I don't know if it's the same in the US or anywhere else, but there's a woman, well, a singer, who died yesterday, and if you're in the UK, you most probably know of her. Her name is Amy Winehouse. And I don't know if she's famous around the world, so I'm not sure. She might be. I don't know how, how famous, but she's famous in the UK. Uh, mostly because she's a drug addict. And I'm sorry if any uh, fans are watching this, but you uh, you got to admit, you she died yesterday and they don't know the cause, but everyone thinks it's something to do with drugs because she drinks a lot and take, she takes drugs. She refused to go to rehab. She made a song about that. And she did, I think it was last month, she did a gig and she was on stage and she was drunk. She was out of her, fa out of her face. And um, I saw it on YouTube and it was in the news. And she, to be honest, she had it coming. If you, if you take drugs that much, you basically asking, um, well, you're basically asking to die. And she had it coming. It's, it's just stupid because... I forgot where about it is. I think it's Norwegians or something. I'm not. I'm not too sure. But um, there's a bombing in a certain country. I really have forgot, which I apologise for. But there's a bombing, and I think it was 90, 90 odd people died, and that isn't. Well, people are more moaning than well, more like crying over Amy Winehouse than loads of these innocent people who who have died. Because Amy Winehouse was basically asking for it. These 90-odd people weren't asking for the death. And they got bombed. It was, um, I think it was a terrorist attack. 
and I was reading about it and it's stupid because I was on Facebook and there was um, people updating the statuses saying uh, rest in peace Amy Winehouse and all that and I saw no statuses about this bombing, no one saying rest in peace those 90 people who died which is quite stupid because Amy Winehouse, only because she's famous, it doesn't make she's it doesn't make her more, more um what's the word, give her more reason that more people uh, to sh should mo well cry over her, because yeah it, it's it's quite stupid. She's famous, but a lot of people hate her and a lot of people like her. But she drugged herself to die basically, and you know at the end of the day, if you're gonna do that, then it's your it's your decision but this commentary has come to the end guys i'm going to try and do more commentaries in the future please leave a like and favorite this video or subscribe if you haven't hope you enjoyed the gameplay hope you enjoyed the commentary this has been the mtb gamer peace